Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Alright, so here's Raging Ally and Quinta, perennial top 10 contender type, had a main event against Donald Cerrone that didn't go his way. There was a lot of good in that fight for Al, mm -hmm. but candidly they thought they were going to be able to break Donald Cerrone on the feet and they were unable to do so. They weren't able to do it and he was not able to make the necessary adjustments. But I believe in Ray Longo, I believe in Matt Serra, and the next time we see Ally Quinta, the problems that he had in that fight will sure be fixed. They know that with Ally Quinta, you have a guy that has the heart, he has the ability to fix everything, and he will address that when he makes his octagon return. And if you're looking to get $100,000 over asking for your house on Long Island, raising Al's your Raging guy. Raging Realty. <laughs> Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So two years, the gap in age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 14 wins, six losses, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of one time, New York, Raging Al Iaquinta. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight according to Las Vegas. And it's really hard to think of a weakness that we've seen on film from either guys in their U.S. Oh! Back to the feet. And he landed the right hand there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick. throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. This big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. That knee might have landed there. Look at the force behind that leg An kick. Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Get him 
chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And he switches his stance yet again. Back and forth we go here! All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big call from Punch Man. Now he gets back to range. Good combination there by Lee. Nice counter left hook. And they separate. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Punch lands. Just a slip there. Spinning back fist is there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Ten seconds to go in the round. Got clip with the right hand. Tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. Kick. Loaded up with that right hand, too. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Nice punch by Lee. And they separate. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land some of the attacks. Iaquinta's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of sweat. He's, he's limping now. Iaquinta's circling to his right. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Head kick, that's a miss. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Quinta gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Pretty good right hand. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh! And he's struggling to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, 
continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your point. Oh, damage done. Bleeding from his cheek now. Oh, that's a nice strike. Clipped him with the right hand there. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. from that round, he went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Big body keep playing. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Aya Quinta gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Big knee to the body. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up for the big knee to the head. Oh, huge right hand. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, straight right. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo deal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. What a fight. Oh, brutal knee to the body. Nice punch here. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. in these situations, certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over! He's done! He's done! What a fight! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 34 seconds of round number three. Playing the winner by knockout, Ruth. Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon.